On January 25, 2011, Little Fuse Incorporated celebrated the opening of a new engineering facility in the research park at the University of Illinois. The grand opening included a ribbon-cutting ceremony with leadership from both Little Fuse and the University of Illinois. You know, to begin, I, I'd like to, to welcome you all to the, to the new Little Fuse Tech Center. Uh, this new facility is the end result of nearly two years working together with the University of Illinois and Fox Development Corporation. Uh, it's been almost two years of planning, construction, and relocation of both equipment and employees uh, into one strategic location where research and development can flourish in the future. Let me also thank all of you for coming to this wonderful event where we celebrate much more than the building itself. Uh, today we celebrate the opportunity to develop a collaboration between industry and higher education that will create the best and most innovative ideas. Both industry and higher education institutions want to achieve a common goal, and that's to educate future leaders who can step into the workforce with the best skills. Businesses across the United States are competing with businesses all over the world. Likewise, the students in our universities are competing with bright young minds from Asia, Europe, and fast-growing economies like we're seeing in India and Brazil. We must ensure our students are prepared for the challenges of a global economy when they enter the workforce. And so working together, industry and our nation's universities can develop strategies to strengthen the skills of the future workforce. So that's why we're so excited about our new facility on the University of Illinois. I think we all know and understand who the University of Illinois is. Uh, but for those of you who don't know much about Little Fuse, I'd like to spend a couple of minutes on that. We're a global leader in circuit protection products. Uh, if any device uses electrical engineer, uses electrical energy, our products are usually inside of it. From cell phones to solar power systems and from laptops to electric vehicles. <coughs> our products are used to help keep these devices safe and reliable by controlling the distribution of electrical energy. In 2010, we manufactured over 7 billion products to make our customers' equipment safe and reliable. So that's one device for everybody on the planet and a few extra. Products that use electrical energy are everywhere. You have them in your home, in your car, perhaps even in your hand right now. They're used by people all over the world. There's an obvious opportunity to leverage our technology and ideas with those being developed here on this campus. And to that end, just a little while ago, leaders from Little Fuse, who have broad expertise in key industries, including automotive, electronics, and electrical systems, met with university officials to discuss the challenges and opportunities they foresee and ways that we can work together in the future. As I stand here today at this state-of-the-art facility, and I look out across the campus where talented young people traverse from class to class, I'm reminded of a quote from Albert Einstein. He once said, your imagination is your preview of life's coming att attractions. I've always liked this quote, and I like it even more as it relates to Little Fuse. This quote embodies the spirit of what we do. As a company that has developed cutting-edge technology and expertise for a broad range of material platforms, including semiconductors, ceramics, polymer, and of course metal alloys for our core fuse business, it's simply a part of our culture to use our imagination to develop the best and most innovative solutions in circuit protection products. Our products, in turn, make technology a possibility. So with a history of innovation as strong as ours, this tech center is a physical reminder of our commitment to continuing that rich history with research and development at the heart of it. So that's why we stand here today. This facility will be the conduit for Little Fuse to continue to imagine new solutions that will better protect both existing and emerging technology. The Tech Center houses a high-power testing lab with unique capabilities. It has engineers and technical experts on staff, and it's strategically located here at the University of Illinois. And with the opening of this new facility, we at Little Fuse are, to paraphrase Einstein, imagining the future. Mr. Hunter, I want to tell you a little secret now. Where we stand here today, Ten years ago, pigs used to roam. <laughs> okay. 
And then across somewhere, corn used to be grown, and, but it was mostly pigs. <laughs> okay. So about 10 years ago, we started on this project of creating this research park with some very clear objectives. One was to see how we really try to leverage all the technology and knowledge that's been created in the university, uh, making sure it comes out of the lab and affects people's lives, improves people's lives. And that was the more of the motivations here. So we try to do that by working with our faculty to start new companies and then uh, the incubator and the research park being a place where they could easily start their new companies. We also try to do that by bringing companies like yours in here, established companies, to work with our faculty, with our students. And I think that's one of the reasons uh, which motivates companies to be here to collaborate with the faculty and the students, as you mentioned. And it's a wonderful opportunity for our faculty, of course, to work with, uh, with people from these companies, as well as it's a wonderful opportunity for our students to work and get experience and learn about uh, advances in both uh, technology as well as in advances in business while they're still a student at the universities. Thanks, Avijit. It's, it's always a pleasure to come to an event like this or for many, many reasons. It, and it, it reflects the convergence, really, of the four missions of the university. Clearly, we're very interested and fundamentally concerned about the education of students, the next generation. Uh, we're heavily involved in, in doing research that is, is cutting edge. Uh, but we also have a public engagement mission and an economic development mission. So it's in these kind of activities where all four of those, uh, those, act, those missions uh, converge and come together. I was instructed to do something difficult, that, but I'm going to do it, and that's thank two people that I've not yet met. <laughs> so Dan Stanick and Mark Klinger, are you both here? There you are. Stand up, and let's just thank you for the work you've done. <laughs> To make this to make this 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 activity come together, and we we very much appreciate the work that uh, Fox Atkins does to to create the kind of facilities and the kind of environment here in the research park that uh, that uh, companies find uh, find value in. As I said, one of our missions is economic development, and it's these kinds of facilities and these kind of engagements that allow us to actually fulfill that responsibility to the state and, and beyond. Uh, as, w as you come here, it allows us to move our technology, our ideas, uh, into innovation that hopefully creates opportunities here in the city mayor, uh, but more broadly in the state and literally uh, across the nation. And uh, you've already done that by, by bringing uh, positions of people here to work. Uh, I hope by your coming here that you find advantage to uh, mixing intellectually with uh, engaging intellectually with, uh, with the faculty that we have on our campus. Uh, as you know, we're, we're very, very proud of our faculty. Uh, we have truly, truly uh, creative and very innovative individuals who, who are thinking profoundly about the, the great problems that, uh, that society faces. And we spoke just a moment ago, President Hunter, about solar energy and the role of your technology in next generation solar energy. And of course, that's an area that is of great interest to our faculty, particularly in material science, but also, also in electrical engineering. Our new tech center is where theory and practice will intersect. The investment in this new facility shows our commitment to research and development. Innovation has always been a core value at Little Fuse. It is, in fact, a major component of the company's history. I remember fondly uh, 1994, uh, the electrical business was actually very new at that time. We were the newest business at Little Fuse. We introduced uh, a really neat product called the Indicator Fuse, which is exactly what it says. It's a fuse that has an indicator on it that designates whether it's blown or not. I marveled at our competition, because we were the small guys, all looking at each other and going, how could these small guys do this? Well, we did it because we have incredible engineers. Uh, we're the small guys that, that keep making um, impressions with our competition, and we're, we're committed to doing that, obviously, with this facility. This basically, that invention, really put the electrical business on the map in our industry. 
and again, it's a real tribute to the, the engineering resources that we have. I don't know if everybody understands this, but we actually relocated all our engineering experts to this facility, and we moved the high power lab from our former headquarters in Des Plaines, Illinois, here, all basically in about a year and a half, which is not a small undertaking, a huge undertaking, and, and everything has just come out so well. But bringing R&D together with the unique testing capabilities of this lab will really facilitate our tradition of innovation that has helped us be take a leadership role in circuit protection. This lab is critical to our business. This is where our products and our, our new product ideas uh, will be discussed and we'll talk about their reliability and safety. This is, believe it or not, one of the few labs in the world that actually generates enough energy to power about 8,000 homes all at once. That's pretty remarkable when you think about uh, that statistic. This is important to the electrical business because our mission is all about the safe control and distribution of electricity in the workplace. Safety is clearly a priority for us. Most people here today have never had to consider about the raw potential of electrical power. That's because of products like we manufacture. We manufacture fuses, we manufacture protection relays. We even make large electrical distribution centers. But they all are very reliable and they work diligently behind the scenes to protect people and equipment from electrical hazards. Naturally, the new facility is something to really get excited about. But I have to say that I'm even more excited about the opportunities associated with working with the, the university, whose electrical engineering program is consistently ranked in the top five in the country. I'm excited at the thought of collaborating with the university and its wonderfully talented professors and talented engineering students. I'm excited to make this lab available to support the university's curriculum for power engineering, which is becoming more and more important in electrical engineering programs everywhere. Offering power engineering as a part of the curriculum and pro providing access to this lab will, I believe, truly benefit the students. As Marvin Minsky, a pioneering professor at MIT, once said, you don't understand anything until you learn it more than one way. For engineers, there's certainly the classroom, but there's also the real life application. Let's be realistic. It's difficult for most people, including engineers, to comprehend the incredible damage that can be created if electrical power is not safely controlled. But by locating the high power test lab and its unique capabilities on campus, students can witness this type of scenario real life in a safe environment. And they could put classroom knowledge to use in the lab in terms of setting to develop real life situations. This is where theory and practice intersect. This is the future, and we're extremely proud to be a part of it. <laughs> Following the ceremony, attendees were treated to tours of the new facility where they learned a bit more about the technology. So a lot of the products have to be thermal tested, have to be uh, cycled at different uh, temperatures. Um, all the solar products that I mentioned to you out, out front have to go through a test where they have to be tested at minus 40 degrees Celsius up to 90 degrees Celsius. So we have to run it through some, some uh, um, thermal cycling, thermal shock type uh, uh, test parameters and, and see how the fuse would perform in the desert, in the, in the Arctic, you know, basically. So I've got a display on right here where, with our x-ray machine where we're actually looking at the inside of one of the solar, solar fuses. So if you come up here, you could see the internal workings of one of the solar fuses. Um, like I said, it's a higher, higher voltage product, so a little bit harder to quench, quench the arcing that, that it might see when the fuse does open. So we've got a series of uh, of elements with very fine bridges that, that will open up during an arcing event that we're trying to keep the arc uh, isolated with, with different types of uh, media in here. Do have other versions of our fuses. This, in, this one here is a medium volt product, so it's used for um, systems that have voltages up to 5,500 volts. Um, you can kind of see on the inside of this what it looks like after a fuse is blown. This was a silver element, a little ribbon like what you would have seen with these elements that we punched here. But after it, if it does blow, it turns some of the, the, the sand to glass. And um, 
see some of what we call the fulgurite inside the fuse. Finally, the event was capped off with demonstrations and the new high power testing facility. What we're doing here is a demonstration at uh, a voltage of 600 volts, 31,000 amps is the capability of our unit. We actually put a 10 gauge piece of wire between the bus bar and this is a demonstration of what would happen if your system's unprotected by a fuse. So once we run the current through there, it disintegrates that wire. Three, two, one. It works! <laughs> Next part of the demo, we actually put a fuse in its place, in the wire's place, and that's the demonstration of what happens when you are protected and your system is protected. There's not much of a flash at all, and it interrupts the circuit, and the circuit is clear, and there's no power running through that application anymore, and it protects your system. Testing, three, two, one. Same amount of power. Same amount of power. We can expose students to real life type of engineering uh, situations so that they kind of get a feel for what they're going to be going through when they enter the actual workforce. And in addition, we get the, the latest uh, and, the, and sort of the, the newest thought processes on solving problems that we may have had a, uh, you know, a preconceived notion about in the past.